In this video, we're going to learn the limiting behaviors of uh, Markov chains. First, let's review uh, what is a transition probability, uh, Pij, this n step. It is first. It is a conditional probability. Given x zero is i, what is uh, the conditional probability of uh, x n is j? Let me add a remark here. So it's uh, given. We're at state i. We're in state i at uh, uh, time zero. The probability of being in state j at uh, time n. And it is very natural to ask the question, what about This probability, and uh, um, to answer this question, we can naturally look at the definition of uh, conditional probability. So, by the definition of conditional probability, let me write down a formula separate here. By definition of a conditional probability, a given b is defined by probability of a b divided by probability of b, in which case it means probability of a b is nothing but probability of a given b multiplied with probability of b. Moreover, using um, some Bayesian formula we've learned earlier in probability theory, we know that probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersecting with some even E plus A intersecting with the E's complement. And using this formula, we can get this is nothing but a given e multiplied with the probability of e plus the probability of a given e complement times the probability of uh, e complement. And now let's look at this uh, xn equals. Uh, J. By the Bayesian formula right here, this probability is nothing but the summation of every single state we consider at step zero. And keep in mind, this is uh, this is not a conditional probability. This is x zero is uh, at state i, and x n is at state j. There is an and here, which means these two events are happening at the same time. And now we can convert this probability using the Bayesian formula right here. It is the sum from i to infinity, this conditional probability times the probability of uh, times the probability of x0 is i, which means we need to know the distribution of x0, which is also considered um, the in initial like condition of our uh, markup chain, or say initial state. 
Now, let's continue on the formula. This is nothing but i from 0 to infinity. This one is our transition probability. And this one is our initial distribution of the state. What happens is we can simply write down the formula pij n multiply with alpha sub i, where alpha sub i is our initial distribution of the states. And we have the following condition because in order that alpha i is a probability, we have to have the sum of i from 0 to infinity of alpha i is 1 and alpha i has to be greater than or equal to 0 for any i. Now if this probability which is xn equals j is small, it means we have less chance of staying um, in state j. If we have a bigger probability, it means we are less li we are more likely to I mean spend some time at state j. And to answer this question quantitatively, um, we'll introduce a new term for our states. And uh, it is uh, null recurrent versus positive recurrent. And to formally define uh, null recurrent, and uh, a positive recurrent, we first have to define a what is called uh, the following probability. So denote f i comma j be the probability of given x zero is i that uh, this mark of chain will ever make into state j. So ever enter state j after time zero, which means, keep in mind, let me add a little remark here, this is not, we're not considering x zero equals j given x zero is i. We know that uh, this is zero. Um, what we consider is uh, i and j are different and this probability quantitatively speaking it is x sub n is j for some n is greater than or equal to one given x zero is i. First, let's look at the following proposition. It says, if i is recurrent, and i communicates with j, then fij is 1. Or is it equivalent to say um, this mark of chain will enter state j in finite steps with probability 1.
we'll prove uh, this proposition using a slightly twisted argument using a geometric distribution. First, we'll define something uh, like a success. We know that because I communicates with J, and this implies there exists an N such that the probability from I to J uh, after N steps is greater than zero. All right. So now we let X zero equals I. And if xn equals j, which happens with a positive uh, possibility with probability pij n, all right, this happens with this probability, then we call uh, it a success. Say this is uh, success. If x sub n is not j, I mean this can happen as well because uh, we don't require this uh, probability being one. If uh, x n is not j happens, then we can wait till the next time period. This mark of chain enters I. And this is important because uh, we're constructing this uh, geometric distribution using I. Why? We are sure this will happen is that uh, we know that I is uh, recurrent. We start to uh, consider whether this uh, markup chain will enter state J in N steps and from this uh, restart. All right, so we restart our clock um, the second time this markup chain enters I. But before this markup chain enters this I, um, this is uh, given that uh, X sub N is not J, which means the first one is not a success. And uh, if, if this happens, We say this is a success. So continuous manner our number of opportunities until x, let's say, uh, sub n is j, is of a geometric distribution with parameter pij, uh, this n-step transition probability. And we know that if
this is greater than zero, okay? Um, we can compute the following uh, probability, that is, uh, this number of uh, opportunities, let's define it as, um, let's say n, then n less than infinity, we can prove that. Uh, this is uh, probability one. The proof of this formula is uh, pretty straightforward because uh, this is nothing but one minus um, n is equal to infinity. And this means if n equals infinity, it means the first uh, like opportunity we have a failure, which means it's one minus this guy, okay? And the second opportunity is a failure as well, and etc. So we have this is uh, the product of these things. So n copies, but uh, we let n goes to infinity, and we know that for a single one, because p sub i j uh, of n step is a greater than zero number. So one minus this is a, is between zero and one. And uh, if we let this n copies of this product n goes to infinity, and this is zero. So that's why this is one. And then now let's look back at the definition of, uh, of this n. So this implies our success is within a finite the many uh, opportunities and uh, and each opportunity were within the finite step which means uh, state j will eventually be entered. <laughs> 